In this particular video, we'll see how we can perform the network programming. When I say network programming, that simply means that I'm going to use a transmission control protocol in short TCP. So here we'll see how can you do the socket programming where socket will be your end on which you will host a particular application and at the end of the end you will make a request. We'll see once you have done the server programming in the Node.js alright using TCP. First of all we'll make our request using a telnet and then we'll see how can you create a program for doing such activities. Let's find out it programmatically. Here in the first application of the TCP protocol, right, which I want to be executed in a network programming. So here I will use the net package, right, the net module, and we have passed the reference in the net, all right. And now using this net object, we can create the server, all right. And as soon as you will call this, uh, it will take care of the server creation. But whenever anyone will be connected with this particular server, it should get some response. So for doing that, we have set a callback function here where we have passed a socket. And as soon as this connection is going to be uh, requested by any particular client, a message will be sent like hello and goodbye. All right. And when you will execute this program on the Windows machine, it will show you the local host, right? Local host as your local server. And the port number which I'm going to use here is 1234. All right. So as soon as you will be making a request with this particular port, you will be able to execute this server. If you want to print any message as soon as your server is started, you can pass a callback function right here as well. Okay. Now uh, let's see how we can execute this program. So it's very simple as the other programs. It's node app.js and here this particular server is being bind with this protocol uh, with this port number 1234 using the listen method. All right. So as soon as I executed this, you see server started and it's on hold. If you want to stop the server from here, you can press control plus C. All right. So it stopped again to run this. You can execute this uh, server started. All right. Node app.js and it's again running. Now to make a request with this particular server, either you can create a client program or you can also pass the request by a telnet. All right. So first of all, you know, Let's try how to make the request with the telnet. Here in Windows machine to open the telnet, I'll type a telnet, all right? So in the run command, you can find this telnet, all right? First of all, you'll have to configure it uh, and then you'll be able to consume this, all right? So now to make a request, what I'll have to do, I'll have to write O, that's for opening the connection, with which server, local host, and which port number. By default, it will be 23. So my port number is 1234. So I'll make a request with this particular port and as soon as I'll come up, execute, you see hello and goodbye. All right. So this is the message which we got. Now here I have created a simple program for the client which will again use the net module. All right. Because again it will be using the TC protocol for establishing the connection. Now here in the client we have used the net.connect function where we will pass the port number that is 1234 in our case. and the local host that is the server name and as soon as the connection is established what you want to do you can define that in this callback function all right so here you have seen like we have just printed a message connection established all right so it's a very minimal uh, code for the client for now all right and we have a separate terminal like in this first terminal we are already running this server application in this terminal 2 in this second command prompt we will execute the uh, client program. So for doing that, we are already in the same location. So node client dot js. That's the name of my this program. And as soon as I'll execute this, you can find connection established. All right. You know, if in case our server is not in running mode, let's me let me close this. All right. So now our server is stopped. And if I'll run it again, you will get some error. All right. So since we have already seen how we can handle the errors in our node program, you can apply that code as well along with this. So here in the server program, you can also add one exception, right? Like if you have using some port like one, two, three, four, and maybe it is used by some other service already. All right. So you can add an exception here, like on error, if the code is E means error, 
address in use means if this particular port is already in use so you will get a message before getting started with the server alright so you can add this exception as it may occur very frequently in, in a machine where you have deployed a number of services